Yes, so um, I'm here uh, making a film, short film, um, for my cousin Caleb. Um, his dad was born, um, we discovered in the West Bay, which is a little village that um, leans against Big Port. And he's an only son. I know how much um, he loves his dad, how dear his birthplace was to him. So his dad, Caleb Senior, was born um, in this uh, lovely little village of West Dorset. And I'm going to go and find out more. So this is where the journey starts. And uh, yeah, okay. Keep First journey coming. is takes me to the Discovery Centre. Discovery Centre. So I'm going in here, see what we can find out. History of the place. So I'm in West Bay Discovery Centre, and which would have been um, the West Bay Chapel. So here, anybody getting christened, most definitely would have been christened here. Um, that were brought up nearby because they're playing in simply St John's Church over the roads, didn't they? If christened at all. And I'm sure he would have been. But Caleb Wenman um, Senior, as I know of him, would have been uh, prison right in this little place. System with information. Um, the chapel and pub are right next door. And there is other pubs nearby. It's all coming together with information given. Amazing, passed down over the years, wonderful information. My um, well-deserved break, well at least I think it's well-deserved, and my fish and chips. Yeah, so, um, doing this um, history stuff builds up an avatar. Not a bad old life. Here is um, the River Brit, which leads into West Bay Arbor. And a bit more history is about to be revealed as I walk over this little bridge and into what is now Wynn's Fun Fair. Every place for fun. Everybody enjoying their self. And right on this piece of land is a piece of English uh, history about to be revealed. So as uh, time rolls on, yeah, this piece of land now where the fairground now is and its surrounding areas is actually quite simply known as the camping field yeah and it's right near Caleb where um, almost without any doubt where your father was born it's called the camping field and when I spoke to Linda from the um, history centre um, she said uh, straight away, yeah, I, I said, uh, looking to find the rightful birthplace um, of a Romani gypsy. And yes, that would have been the camp field. Now, what's, what's interesting about this? See, it's still a camp field, right? But this was the first, this was municipal ground, owned by the council, it's a common land, yeah? And this was the very, very first, the very, very first in England, of all places, this was the first council run campsite so you can only assume that the gypsies had settled here and I don't know at which stage they started charging but they charged to camp would they charge the Romani gypsies in them days we don't know but there's very piece of ground no doubt Caleb um, where Caleb senior your father was born um, fantastic right by the, the little river we come over um, the Brit River would have been handy for the Romanis to wash their clothes get the water out wash your clothes and whatnot. Um, yeah, so the very, very first 
keep repeating myself, but I find it very interesting. The very, very first municipal campsite in England, right here. You can only assume that was um, generated by the settlement of Romanies, right here where your father was born. Yeah, great piece of history, love it. The George pub could have been the nearest water and all from the encampment just here here we're looking at the very vibrant harbour of West Bay and it's many visitors yeah another piece of um, history here this town um, attempted to outrun Bournemouth as being Dorset's top town but actually they run out of money, the landowners outpriced the scheme and the project and um, it didn't outrun Bournemouth but it's a beautiful little, beautiful little fishing village leaning against um, an arbour of course, leaning against Fisherman's Village, leaning against, you can see all the boats out there, leaning against Bridport, it's a wonderful vibrant place and um, I'm sure it was in the early 1900s when Caleb Senior was born, it was owned into Roman Gypsies, and in fact, um, there's still uh, still Roman Gypsies frequenting the place. And um, yeah, yours faithfully, I'm one of them. Absolutely wonderful place. Yeah, it's a bit more history. It once tried to outrun Bulwark as Dorset's main best attraction, but the landowners got greedy, and I think probably unspoilt now almost through centuries probably a good job they did wonderful place part of this journey is um i'm going to the grandfather the father of um caleb senior who was born here was bud winman don't know his real name i think charlie or caleb i'm not sure um but anyway we know him as bug um history reports we all will have to make a living and um he was in the scrap metal game and um, there was report that he had um, actually freighted his scrap metal um, as far back as, as the early 1930s and I'm going to go to the local station and uh, see how much truth's in that yeah so uh, what's the word maybe a sophisticated man of his time uh, head of the game had to make a living and um, freight and scrap a big move in the early 30s for a Roman gypsy yeah living in a tent, very big. Just a quick look into St John's Church, um, opened in 1949, uh, which replaced the little chapel on where I possibly think Caleb Senior would have been christened, along with many more, 1949, wonderful little church. Pleasure to be here. Um, Thanks to our good Lord for bringing me to this wonderful little place in West Dorset. Yeah, so I'm at the site of um, the disused railway, but it stands as a beautiful carriage, which is now a restaurant and the old station. And um, yeah, so Caleb's father, Caleb Senior's father, is a scrap man. Um, and how true, the 19, early 1930s to 1962, this was disused in the early 30s as a passenger rail line and it become goods only, freight only and it's here where he used to put his, um, his, his stuff on board and yeah, it, it's sort of uh, the scrap game made good for the boys it's all got a living and, um, and it's the same business I'm in myself and uh, it allows me to come to wonderful places like here I don't claim to be any rich gazillion now, but it gives me a wonderful life and sometimes what more can you ask for, eh, than life itself and these wonderful places that go with it. Yep, so old Bug Wehman put his goods right on this train line and away it went and into the distance and that's how they made their funds. So the life of Caleb Wehman started right here in West Bay little village that sits against Bridport, born in 1919, 10th of March 1919. And life is not a train journey, isn't it? Um, 
he boarded the train, headed for Portsmouth, and that stop brought him the love of his life. Just post-war around 1946, he met the love of his life, Lena. And the four children they made, Mary, Shibby, Caleb, and Lena. And what a wonderful journey in between. Uh, Caleb's train final stop, train stop was in 1986, 10th of March. Yeah, and um, as sad as that final journey is, yes it is, but you do have to realise that um, what a wonderful journey in between. Many wonderful stops, many places, and that wonderful family they have made. Yeah, and he was reunited by the love of his life, um, Lena, in uh, 2023, late December, so um, late to rest now in Portsmouth um, is Caleb and his beloved wife, Lena. So, um, poor Caleb and his wife, Lena, is it the um, end of the line? Oh, I don't necessarily think so. I think our good Lord Jesus Christ um, can give us eternal life, and I pray they have a life in heaven. But on earth, that was their train journey, that's where it ended, and I've really enjoyed making this for the women family and I just hope you enjoy it. I will put it on my channel and if it's so bad um, I can always take it down but hopefully it won't be. A little piece of history there for you and as I say it's been wonderful making it. Really enjoyed it. Very informative. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.